Hello, welcome to another video from the Animal University channel. Let's go for the video. Iguana Iguana, any of eight genera and roughly 30 species of the larger members of the lizard family Iguanidae. The name Iguana usually refers only to the members of the subfamily Iguanini. The best-known species is the common, or green, Iguana, Iguana Iguana, which occurs from Mexico southward to Brazil. Males of this species reach a maximum length of over 2 meters, 6.6 .6 feet, and 6 kilograms, 13.2 pounds. It is often seen basking in the sun on the branches of trees overhanging water, into which it will plunge if disturbed. The common iguana is green with dark bands that form rings on the tail, females are grayish-green and about half the weight of males. Iguanas also possess atrophied venom glands that produce a weak harmless venom. Food of the common iguana consists largely of leaves, buds, flowers, and fruits of fig trees, genus ficus, although many other trees are also fed upon. Whereas this lizard has a well-developed digestive system housing bacteria that ferment plant material, it also eats invertebrates when young and has been known to eat small birds and mammals. During the rainy se season, males become territorial, and mating pairs are established. At the end of the rainy season, eggs are fertilized and then laid in clutches of 30 or 50 in the ground during the early dry season. After 70 to 105 days, the 7.6 cm, 3-inch, long hatchlings emerge, during this time, eggs and young are vulnerable to predators such as coatis and other omnivores. Adult iguanas have been used as food by humans for thousands of years and are threatened by hunting and habitat loss. In rural areas they are a major source of protein. Other genera include the West Indian iguana, Cyclura, and the desert iguana, Dipsosaurus, of the southwestern United States and Mexico. Two genera inhabit the Galapagos Islands, the marine iguana, Amblorhynchus, and a terrestrial form, Conolophus. The latter genus includes the pink iguana, C. rosata, which inhabits the slopes of Wolf Volcano on Isabella, Albemarle Island. All iguanas are egg layers. Facts about iguana. They hate the cold. Take a look at the habitats that green iguanas thrive in, Central America, South America, Caribbean islands, and now South Florida. What do these places have in common? They are very, very warm and enjoy sunny days year-round. Iguanas need high temperatures to survive. That's why iguana populations are not very large in Central and Northern Florida. It just doesn't get hot enough. In the Miami area, as well as in the Keys, the weather is perfect for iguanas. They also need direct sunlight in order to survive. That is why you often find them out basking in the sun. They can swim. Iguanas are reptiles which means they do very well in water. They are excellent swimmers. They can swim in both salt water and fresh water. And if the water temperature is right, they can hold their breath for up to 15 minutes. Iguanas have a long lifespan. Green iguanas can live quite a long time. In the wild, they average about 9 years. Kept in captivity and taken care of properly, iguanas can live up to 20 years of age. Not only do they have a long lifespan, but their bodies can get very long as well. Male iguanas can grow to 6 feet long, while females are generally a bit smaller. They can shed their tail, tails and skin. Iguanas have the ability to release their tail from their body when needed. This could be when picked up by their tail, or when they get stuck or stepped on. This is a survival mechanism allowing iguanas the chance to escape predators. Tails usually break off cleanly at the vertebrae. If this happens, and the iguana is still young and growing, its tail will probably grow back. However, if the tail is removed poorly, or if the iguana is too old, it might never regrow its tail. Not only are their tails removable, but they also shed their skin at least once a year. Younger species may shed multiple times per year. When the skin is ready to fall off, iguanas often rub up against rocks or trees to get the skin off faster. Green iguanas have three eyes. It's true, iguanas have a third eye on the top of their heads. It's not a normal eye, but it does carry some anatomical characteristics of their normal eyes. This third eye is called the pineal gland or parietal eye. 
While it doesn't help them see images, it can sense movement, alerting iguanas of predators who may be lurking above. Other lizards, and even some fish, have a similar feature. Iguanas communicate with each other. Iguanas can communicate with each other non-verbally. Rather than making noises, iguanas bob their heads. They also move the flap of skin under their necks called a dewlap. Slow up and down head bobbing is usually a sign of iguanas acknowledging and greeting each other. Faster head bobbing is usually a sign of agitation and aggression. They may be putting on a territorial display. Aggressive head bobbing or tail whipping is a sign that iguanas are upset and you shouldn't approach them. Extending their dewlap can be a sign of greeting. Males will also flap their dewlap when courting females. While they generally don't make sounds, iguanas use their body language to communicate. They fall out of trees. In 2020, Florida made national news during its coldest night of the decade. Sub-40 degree temperatures effectively stunned the iguanas to the point where they couldn't function. In the cold, their metabolism slows down and they enter a comatose-like state. When this happens, they can't grip branches and thus fall from their tree, laying on sidewalks, lawns, and streets. They are still alive and are able to move again once the temperatures rise enough for the iguana's body. This can happen anytime temperatures dip below 45 degrees. The problem, experts are saying, is that iguanas may be adapting to the cold. This poses a threat to the rest of Florida, where iguanas do not multiply currently. As iguanas adapt to lower temperatures, they may be able to expand to establish populations throughout the state. Green iguanas in Florida, not a protected species. While iguanas are fascinating creatures and serve important roles in their native habitat, Florida is not their home. Green iguanas were only introduced into Florida about 60 years ago. They can cause frustration to property owners, as iguanas can destroy landscaping, vegetation, and damage fences and sidewalks. They also pose a threat to many native species as they eat plants and snails that are important members of Florida's natural ecosystem. As such, green iguanas are considered a nuisance. They are not protected by law, except under animal cruelty laws. Residents can humanely kill iguanas on private property at any time throughout the year. Be advised, you cannot capture iguanas from your property and release them elsewhere. They must be killed in order to be removed. If you have an extensive iguana population at your home or business, you can have Iguana Control evaluate your property and effectively remove iguanas. I hope you enjoyed this video enough and it was informative. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. Introduce us to your friends. Good luck to you all.